Leave it up for old hagbag Nancy. Old Nancy really starts talking down to a black reporter, turns her in her face and says, am I speaking English to you? Because everybody's asking hagbag Nancy, does Biden have what it takes to be in the race? Because the thing is, this is projection for the Democrats. This is, this, is, this is a problem for all the older Democrats. See, Nancy is also advanced in age. She's uh, not a spring chicken anymore. And the thing is, uh, let's face it, Nancy Pelosi's reputation in Washington, D.C. is quite deplorable. I mean, she does a lot of insider trading. I mean, she is as rich as it can get. She's got that cash money, that cash, that cash money, money, cash money, money, cash. And the thing is, as people are asking Biden to step down, oh, no, does that mean it's the end for Nancy and her fantastic insider trading? How will she ever survive if she can't do that insider trading? She has to have that money. She has to make money. It's 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 a drug to her. Besides drinking, uh, like you know, ten martinis, maybe fifteen martinis a day, you you think you think working in Congress, you you are a sober person. Majority of those people are probably addicts, addicts in every which way. You think Washington D.C. is filled with honorable people? No. Case in point, Nancy. Now I don't know how all of you would act. But for me, I don't know. I think I'd just tell Nancy to F off if she said this to me. Can we convey to President Biden what you said this morning? I'm not having any conversations with you or anybody else about what I talked to the president about. We all do this. Do you believe that? I never do. I never do. So it's nothing new. I understand, Madam Speaker. Do, do you believe that him waiting so long to make this I'm decision? I'm not going to make any comments in the hallway. No comments in the hallway. All right, my name's Nancy. You got to listen to me. I almost choked out the lady from Code Pink. About the fate of our nation. Okay. Are you concerned whether or not he can win in November? I think he can. Do you believe he should run for re-election? I'm not. I'm not speaking English to you. Oh, she's doing that. Am I speaking English to you? See, now, if, if that was me, I'd be like, no, you got you got to speak louder. What 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 are you what are you saying? Because because it sounds like you're going to bat for a senile old goat. I'm not going to be making any statements about any of that right now in the hallway. Now she's quick to make this statement though on BSDNC though. Does he have your support to be the head of the Democratic Second? As long as the president has the president. Wow, that's slurring right there. Listen to that one more time. Does he have your support to be the head of the Democratic Second? As long as the president has the president, it's up to the president to decide if he is going to run. Uh, we're all encouraging him uh, to to make that decision uh, because time is running short. Uh, the uh, I think overwhelming support of the of the caucus. It's not for me to say. I'm not the head of the caucus anymore. But uh, he's beloved. Oh God, Nancy, you look terrible in this video. Should I should I be should be commenting on her? Yeah, she's slurring. She how how, how many martinis did you drink before this interview? He is respected, and people want him to make that decision. He not has me. he has said he has made the decision. He has said firmly this week he is going to run. Do you want him to run? I want him to do whatever he decides to do, and that's that's the way it is. Whatever he decides, we go with. Does he have your support? Yes, yo with it, right? Ah, but hold on. There's more to this. Pelosi suggests Biden could still exit race. Oh, no. She's talking out of both sides of her mouth now, like any politician would. She's an expert at it. She's an expert of knowing how to lie, to weave, to slime, to crawl her way out of different scenarios. President Biden faced a new round of setbacks on Wednesday in his campaign to rally Democrats behind his re-election bid as fresh signals of discontent and new doubts about his ability to defeat former President Trump emerged off Capitol Hill. In the House, former Speaker Nancy, Nancy Pelosi made waves in suggesting Biden, who has been steadfast in his decision to remain on the ticket, still has a decision to make. In the upper chamber, chamber Senator Tim Kaine, remember Hillary Hill Dogg's VP, suggested Biden would do the patriotic thing to prevent Trump from winning. And in Hollywood, George Clooney, a longtime Democrat donor, fundraiser, and activist, abandoned Biden altogether, saying Democrats are sure to lose the Senate, House, and White House if Biden remains on the top ticket. Well, f hey, Georgie, you made your bed. Now lay in it. Adding to Biden's woes, he lost support from three additional House Democrats. So in other words, 
through this article, is he truly effective? Can he do it? Now, whatever you do, you know, listen, a lot of these Democrats are going to say things that even old hagbag Nancy won't say. I do just want to ask you again if you think President Biden is the strongest person at the top of the ticket to win Michigan in the fall. He, he's the candidate right now. And these are do you beat your wife kind of questions. You know, do you beat your wife? Yeah, well, there's probably a lot of domestic abuse in Washington, D.C. I mean, we see it all the time. Who is this? Strong? I, I, everybody said Hillary Clinton is the strongest candidate. She's going to win. And I told you all in 215, 216, Donald Trump was going to win. I loved Hillary, but she wasn't the strongest candidate. What we got to do is go out and talk the issue. I do just. But you can't talk the issue because now. Oh, no. Remember when I said that Nancy Pelosi is talking on both sides of her mouth? Well, now I guess she's realizing where the wind is going. And so she's going to crawl on her knees. And now saying that time is running short for Biden. Former U.S. House, this is from RT, just to trigger the liberals. Former U.S. House Speaker Nancy, Nancy Pelosi has said time is running short for President Joe Biden to decide if he will run for re-election following his disastrous recent debate performance against Donald Trump. Biden has already insisted he will not drop out of the race. Commenting in an interview with BSDNC on Wednesday, Democrat heavyweight, old weight, Pelosi admitted that the party is not in lockstep regarding Biden's campaign before he being praised in the president for his appearance at the NATO leader summit held in Washington, D.C. When asked directly whether Biden has her support in, to head the Democrat ticket, she answered, it's up to the president to decide if he's going to run. We are all encouraging him to make that decision because time is running short. He is beloved. He is respected. No, he is not. He's not beloved. He is not respected. And people want him to make his decision. He's made his decision and he's going to make sure to make your lives miserable. Democrats, y'all put him in office. Now you got to figure out how to really get the old dog out. I want him to do whatever he decides to do. And that's the way it is. Democrat donors and officials have increasingly urged the 81 year old Biden to end his campaign after the debacle against Republican rival Trump two weeks ago. Although the U S leaders insisted that only God almighty, the great God Almighty could convince him to do so. Look, probably, probably like good old uh, JC is knocking on his door, be like, Biden, my son, it is time. Am I going to heaven, Jack? And, and JC is saying, oh, no. No, 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 no. You're going downstairs, buddy, to the ice cream place. There's no ice cream in H E double L. Pelosi was speaking on Morning Blow program, which Biden uh, has described as his favorite political news show. She was interviewed alongside Silveta Tekhanovskaya, a self-exiled Belarusian politician who came to prominence in 2020 as a leader of a failed attempt to oust President Alexander Lukashenko. Well, great. Isn't that great? Somebody who who we were going to put in for a coup. And a wave of mass protests over his re-election to office. The Democratic Party is scheduled to formally pick its nominee for the November ballot during a national convention in mid-August in Chicago. The party leadership effectively skipped the primary process in Biden's favor. Don't tell that to, uh, you know, Simone Sanders. She said at first in 2023 that we never needed a primary. And now, uh-oh, the primary was already there. And they, people picked Biden. When that happened? With some states canceling their ballots altogether. Politicians who sought to challenge the president's claim to the nomination have described the measures as anti-democratic. So, Democrats, you're stuck here. And Nancy herself, the old dog herself, well, she doesn't really have that fight left in her. A lot of these politicians are weak, cowardly, inept, foolish clowns who are a waste of time, space, and energy, who revealed themselves to be the pieces of shite that they really are. And Nancy, talking down to reporters, talking down to people, especially people of color. You know, Nancy, you a little bit have a history of that, especially when people confront you. You can't deny the fact that Biden is old and senile, just like how you can't deny that the aging process happened to you, too. It's going to happen to all, to all of us. But you, Nancy, you are an example of corruption. You let Biden, you and your fantastic friends in the Democratic Party, let Biden become president. And now you're stuck with wondering what to do because you don't know what to say. You don't know how to lie because your lie has been revealed. If Biden becomes a nominee, if, if, he, if he secures his position of power in August after the convention here in Chicago, I want to remind folks, especially you, Nancy, and all your fantastic Democrat friends, in September there's going to be another debate against 
Donald Trump. And old man Biden's going to have to face off against him. How are you going to wiggle and worm your way out of this one? Because you only could do it for so long until you're finally caught. And telling the truth or acknowledging that you lied will be something that even your mind can't handle. Because these politicians, they're like the kid who's finally caught when he's taking the cookies out of the cookie jar. My hand's not in the cookie jar. I didn't eat all the cookies, I promise. If you want to be lied to, vote Democrat. If you want to be a subservient puppet, vote Democrat. But if you want to be free, break away from both parties. Both parties and say hell no to the electoral system because it just doesn't work because that's how you get another Nancy Pelosi. And hell, we do have another Nancy Pelosi coming along, waiting in wings for the old dog to die off. Her name is AOC.